Hey guys, let's talk today about how to set up your property, how to set up a rental property to so it could give you the least problems possible with your renters. And a lot of you guys are taking advantage of what we're talking about, buying your investment properties, and you haven't read yet already. Go ahead and look at the links right there. Make sure you click on it to start searching for your property, okay? But this is what you want to do to avoid the most problems possible. First of all, is don't let your tenant know that you are the owner. You gotta have to become the management company. You set it up as a business. That way, um, the tenants don't feel like they know you personally, and you're just the management company. You're just there to collect the rent. They need to pay. All right. That way, there are no special favors. It's everything very clear with them. And, um, and you can set up the property in a trust, by the way, so that there aren't any any they can't even backtrack and look to see who the owner is. Another thing you want to do for sure is run a credit and a background check. There's a lot of renters out there who are professional renters. And what I mean by that is that they go and uh, rent one place, they stop payments, they know how to work the system, they get to live for free. So you definitely don't want that to happen, all right? Another thing you want to do is do a property damage report. You walk around with a renter all over the property, check off everything that could be wrong with it, that way there aren't any discussions or later on about what was their fault and what isn't. Another thing you want to do is have a tenant handbook. You have all the rules and regulations there, you have them sign it at the end. That way there isn't any discussions to what's allowed and what's not allowed in your property. And one way to minimize uh, those midnight calls that the toilet's leaking is, you know what, you give them incentives. And one incentive simply could be this, give them December for free. Don't charge them for December, especially because Christmas comes around, people have they want to spend more money on other things. But what you do is this, if they have any issues, and for example, less worth less than $500 that they have to fix, it's up their responsibility to take care of that. And believe me, renters will jump at that opportunity to not pay rent and they'll take care of the little things. All right, anyways guys, this is Paul Anthony Kelly from TheMortgageSpin.com. Take action, be brave and be bold, and we'll talk to you next time.